This is one of the measures being taken by the Kazan State Government in its efforts towards improving teaching and learning, especially in public schools in the state. Here, lecturers at the Federal College of Education, Kasana, are facilitating a three-day training for 1,350 principals and vice principals of public secondary schools in Kasana State. The state's commissioner for basic and secondary education, Zainab Musa Musawa, stresses that these measures will significantly improve services delivery in primary and post-primary schools. Leadership skills and familiarity with the national policies on education are amongst the cardinal objectives of this training program. This test is being conducted for the reason of sensitizing and cleansing the system and to also avoid nepotism, favoritism and corrupt practices in our schools. At the end of the training, participants are expected to take a competency test which would serve as a yardstick for their reappointment. The commissioner had earlier played host to some members of the Kazana Children Parliament led by officials of the Safety Children International. Ma, as a commissioner of education, what efforts have you been making to ensure that children that are out of schools are back into school? In her response, the commissioner for basic and secondary education said that measures are being put in place towards keeping the Almajri children off the streets in Kazan State. What we do is to bring in a monitoring and monitoring system where we have state monitors who can uh, help these children to either go to uh, a centre where they can learn something or to even tell them that there's a state law that doesn't allow hawking. So we're trying to come up with a structure that will be able to speak to them on the streets and help them and guide them to go to where they can learn and to also sensitize them on the importance of education. So these are... But still, the security challenges in the state remains a major setback to the education sector as some schools remain closed. Awal Ibrahim, Arise News, Kusana.